Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. It is 5.46 p.m. And that is not the sunset. I'm roughly looking northeast right now. And that's just a little opening in the cloud cover that has been around most of the day. The sunset will happen directly behind me. But that's complete clouds. So I'm wondering if just straight ahead, which is the nearest opening, is where we're going to actually see some color tonight. I'm going to hang around a little bit. I have to start work in 13 minutes. But fortunately, I can work from my truck as long as I'm in a good Wi-Fi spot. So that's kind of why I'm over here by the boat lift at Rockport Beach. I'm getting a strong signal right now. Hey, I did want to thank my buddy, Drew. Drew has been an awesome friend over the years. And uh, today he sent me a gift through my PayPal account. Drew, thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate you, all your kind words over the years. And it has been years, buddy. Uh, over three years, I believe, we've been in touch with each other. Uh, no matter how busy you are, no matter what's going on, no matter what natural disasters is threatening Canada. I say that as a joke, but they've been going through a lot up there in that uh, British Columbia area. Uh, Drew still has a sense of humor, and he's been a good friend. So, Drew, now don't hurt yourself doing this. Roll my intro! <laughs> So this is the sunset so far with the cloud cover. I wanted to thank Terry. My buddy Terry uh, went to Port Aransas with me earlier. And uh, we had the Terry cam working. He uh, filmed some footage for me. And we drove around Port Aransas and made fun of everyone. And mostly made fun of ourselves. And uh, ate cheap Walmart cookies. So that was a fun day. <laughs> Any day involving cookies is a good day, guys. I don't know what's going to happen with this sunset. You know, it's funny. It was a year ago today that I was having a blue moon with Rusty at Falcon Lake State Park right on the Mexican border. And I had gone over to Rusty's site and we were sitting at a picnic table. And a javelina came walking right by my truck, sniffed it, got about to the front of Rusty's uh, RV. And then we finally made enough noise for it to realize that there were humans there. And he kind of looked up annoyed and sniffed the air and turned around and went the other way. And... That's certainly not the last time I've seen Rusty. I think it was uh, February. Rusty was staying at Goose Island State Park. During our polar vortex. And I ran him some uh, breakfast food. A couple days. And that's the last time I've seen him. He really hasn't been down anywhere near me. He was in Victoria twice, but he was visiting with family and uh, wasn't up for company. But I hope I get to see him again soon. This is actually kind of neat. It is dark out right now. But when I turn my camera on, it looks pretty light. And I don't know how to correct that. We didn't really get a sunset, guys. It just kind of got dark. I'm going to go park into some Wi-Fi and uh, 
check back with you in a little bit. I've already run my cycle at work once. And uh, 6.21 p.m. right now. I'm going to run it once again. And when I say run the cycle, <clears throat> I'm going to keep who I work for my personal business. But I check various social media accounts, look everything over, make sure there's not some screwball on there leaving negative comments. Uh, if something needs to be addressed, I forward that to the right up uh, department and I answer everything on social media with a list of uh, preset answers. And then I go through the company's email. If something can be answered with a preset answer, I do that. Or I forward it to the right department. If it's just uh, something that does need to be addressed. And that is my exciting second job, third job. Let's call that one the second job. I'll check back with you later, guys. One eternity later. Had a good night at work, guys, and then I slept for about three hours. So I'm feeling pretty hyper. Got up this morning, and it's actually a lot warmer. It's, uh, I don't know, 54, 55 degrees. You can tell by the lack of waves, the wind has died down. I think they said about uh, eight miles an hour. And I was hoping with calm water, we might see some dolphins, but I don't see any signs of dolphins yet. Hey, uh, I spoke with Luciano, and he said a gentleman stopped and gave him a gift because he saw Luciano on my channel. And uh, I'm sorry, but he thinks your name is Ken. Uh, Luciano doesn't remember names that well. And honestly, Luciano doesn't know my name. <laughs> Even, even though he can text message me. Uh, so uh, if it's not Ken, whoever did that, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm sure Luciano appreciates it as well. That was uh, very kind of you. You know, I was just doing a little editing right here. Do you see that seafoam color wall right about dead center? That is the new art center. And I remember I showed it a few days ago, if you guys caught that video. Uh, later that day, they were already painting it. Uh, when we shot the video, part of that wall wasn't even up. And then when I came back at night, uh, later in the day, not even night, they were painting it already, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's go over and uh, check that out. This is over at the opposite side of the marina, but those buildings are just massive compared to the other structures on the street. Thought I'd stop over here first before we get closer. Plus, I absolutely love looking at the boats. I think I could take a nice nap just from the sound of that water. <gasps> I see a blue herring. Oh, it's a pelican. My bad. I've got Eugene on my mind. <laughs> I haven't heard a pelican do any vocalizations. I wonder if they do. I do think it's neat when they kind of clap their uh, their beak, their bill, together. It makes a distinct noise. Oh, sorry guys, I got my finger in here. You know what? A little bit of zoom at the end will take care of that. Oh, it's a, a combination of my finger and my... Um, Rear view mirror. Speaking of Alfred Hitchcock, rear view mirror. 
I was able to find some uh, scenes from Vertigo. We were talking about Vertigo last week. I have an appointment on Tuesday. What's today when I'm filming this? I'm posting this on Monday morning. Okay. So, uh, Tuesday. I go to the doctors. The one thing I like about... Uh, I go to Rockport Clinic. They get their blood work back like the next day. Which is neat. And oddly enough, my cholesterol's good. I think I had blood work done four or five months ago. It's not that expensive there. Hmm. Speaking of Alfred Hitchcock, what Alfred Hitchcock movie is that, guys? The Birds. Oh, pretty. They're all facing right into the wind over here, too. very nice I do apologize guys I don't have my jacket on today but I noticed in my videos the last three or four days my jacket makes all kinds of noise especially uh, driving on the beach it, it makes like a rubbing noise it's just the material of the jacket it's almost like a nylon what uh, like a textured nylon and like the microphone I would clip it to the jacket and that would make rubbing noises and just wasn't uh, the best material. But that led me to learn. I can put the microphone on my handicap placard and put that under my um, visor. And that way I won't have any rubbing issues. Which rubbing issues? I'm still gonna have rubbing issues, but not with a microphone. <laughs> Someone's going to pass me on the left, maybe. Uh, they're just shopping for bait. I was going to say, there's, <laughs> there's lots of room on the right. I like the marina. I find it very relaxing. Rockport and Fulton. I wish uh, more small towns along the coast had marinas like this makes for a nice little pleasant drive a pecan casserole I've, I've never seen I'm gonna have to google that I've never seen a pecan casserole that's interesting wonder what else is in it that makes it a casserole This is why the South lost the Civil War, you know. Because you guys had delicious things like pecan casseroles. <laughs> the North had all the factories. But you guys had pecan casseroles and buttermilk pie and real biscuits. Was it Robert E. Lee that said, an army runs on its stomach? I don't know who said that, but I think it was a Civil War general. There's the art center, guys. So what color would you call that? Sea foam? Maybe? Perhaps? It's just, I mean, compared to the little shops, well, in this perspective, they look about the same, but... Even that building right here is it's like this kind of fits in with the style and I guess I I need to give it a chance, huh? But yeah, we showed this and that wall wasn't finished. They were still putting in kind of those frames, those steel frames. But uh, I think that's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, they've made a lot of progress. Progress. It's very interesting. That's for such a small town to have something like this. 
I hope it brings in uh, more tourists and helps out all these little stores and restaurants along here. I hate to see things get real big, but these people have owned businesses for years and they they certainly deserve to make some money. I have not shaved since it has gotten cold the last four or five days. Well guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of driving around town today. A friend of mine is looking for a place. So uh, I'm going to see if I can spot any for rent signs that might not be advertised. And if I see anything interesting, I will definitely record it. Thanks for riding along today, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.